Kids, if you want to be organized, don't watch these vlogs. Currently looking at my phone, my laptop, this, this is called a pad of paper, and this is called a pen. This computer, which isn't even turned on, and I hired a guy to help me, and he has an iPad, and we're still all over the place. What's up, everybody? It's Epic Lloyd coming to you live from your house. I'm in your house. Welcome back to the Friday vlogs. We're calling them the Friday vlogs. If it's not a Friday, Eh. Hope you had an excellent Valentine's Day. We featured my wife last time on Valentine's Day. Congratulations! We're still together. Long story short, a little rocky. Rocky Mountain High, Colorado. Okay. I have a tattoo. Here it is. Boom. This is my tattoo. This is actually designed by Mary Doodles. It's a pawn from a chess piece with a crown on his head, which is cool. It means something to me. I wrote a song about it. Uh, it's called Pawn. You can check it out right here if you want. It looked like destruction at the break of the dawn When one paw jumped the night turned to scream Come on! It was about like a, a little guy coming up and, and conquering the bigger guys of the world. That has a special meaning for me. Do you have a tattoo? Send me a picture of it on Facebook. I'd love to see him. My friends have tattoos. Arthur has a tattoo. Pretty awesome. He's got his own thing. I told you, you have tattoos? Oh, my buddy Mike over here. It's tribal. So as you can see, some tattoos are better than others. I have scoured the internet for some of the worst tattoos that I've ever seen in my life. And I just wanted to share them with you to remind you that your life's not so bad. So let's start with number one. <laughs> this is the Tupac corn. It's basically an ambivalent Tupac coming out of a black vagina. The unicorn is, also has tattoos. So it's the head of Tupac on a unicorn on a tattooed unicorn. And then there's stars around it and Tupac's not even smiling. So uh, we also have <laughs> Centaur Patrick Swayze. Uh, and this is Patrick Swayze uh, geared up from the SNL sketch where he was a dancer with Chris Farley wrapped in rainbow licorice and then a purple background. Someone lost a bet there. And then last but not least is my personal favorite, <laughs> Fat Counting Crows guy. I don't know what happened to the Counting Crows. Mr. Jones and me apparently went to In-N-Out for nine years and that's what happened and he went straight edge. I didn't know that Mr. Jones guy was straight edge, but apparently this guy is, but not straight edge enough and not to get uh, weird plugs in his ears. If you're feeling bad about your tattoo, just do a search on the internet and I'm sure you'll feel much better. If you have a bad tattoo, feel free to post it and maybe we can give you a fun caption to tattoo underneath it that would at least add some levity to your pain. And that was Bad Tattoo, brought to you by Epic Lloyd and tattoo shops all across Oklahoma. I just shit on Oklahoma. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna do some more disrupts for hire. People have been knocking down my door asking, when are the next disrupts for hire coming? I'm always gonna be doing disrupts for hire. I just have to take a break from them sometimes because it is tough to kind of, you know, do the same show over and over again. And I like to express myself in different ways. I wanted to introduce today an ERB segment called the Writer's Room Floor. And that was actually an idea that uh, Zach, our uh, writer, came up with to maybe show you guys some lines that we thought were pretty good that almost made it into songs. And it's kind of interesting to hear where they came from. So here's our segment. Writer's room floor. Is it cutting room floor? It's whatever you want. It's whatever I want. This is a line from Miley Cyrus versus Joan of Arc that didn't quite make it. It was written by one of our writers, Mike, and it was from Joan of Arc to Miley Cyrus. And it went like this. I can't help but bring the heat. I'm a human firebomb. You're a wreck on a ball. I wish a Jay-Z song was on. Ooh, snap. Take that, Miley. And your weird fucking tongue your weird llama camel tongue. We ended up not using that line, I think mostly because the Jay-Z part of that line is not the main part of that song. So we thought it was like a, just a tiny bit too obscure, but it was definitely cool for sure. Number two, this is a line from Skrillex versus Mozart. This is a line that we wrote for M Mozart to say to Skrillex. And I went, your obnoxious preposterous song sound like dog shit. I was supporting my parents with music before you even knew you were adopted. I thought that was really fun. I think we didn't use this particular line because it kind of inferred that they were coming, like growing up at the same time. It was just a little bit too far off, but I, I kind of liked the sort of multi-syllabic rhythm of that rap. Anyway, and then the last one, these are some lines from this season three, Vader versus Hitler. This is Hitler insulting Vader. And he says, you're a far cry from beating me with the desert butthole in carbonite. So pucker up that triangle mouth and kiss my dark side. Kiss my dark side was one of the favorite things that we wrote in that whole process. I don't think it ever made it in. Just the, the idea of like kissing my dark, like my butthole, my butthole is dark. 
and you can kiss it, and you can kiss it. You can kiss it. And then triangle mouth. Triangle mouth, I think we had it in there. We totally had it in the song. The last verse of that Hitler verse turned into more of like a rant where he's like, you're not going to cheat me, Mr. Sunglasses, all the time. And I kind of like, Pete was just like, go, 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 just do whatever. And we had written triangle mouth, like kiss my dog side with your triangle mouth. And then we just didn't make it. So that's part of the reason why I wanted to do this segment so I could just show you guys these lines because I always thought they were really funny. We may do a couple more of these in another vlog, but I hope you enjoy this uh, segment. Thanks again for watching. We will see you next time on the Epic Lloyd Hopefully Friday It's Vlog. I mean, hopefully dyslexia I'm not. I mean, hopefully it's Friday because we're posting this and it's supposed to be. Deuces! Actually, this is four. Fours! It looked like destruction at the break of the dawn when one paw jumped the night turned to scream. Come on! The rooks jump back as he attacked the castle. Vicious acts are too casual as Bond broke the actual Moving uncontrollably, swarming the board Slashing axes, hatchets, knives, daggers, swords Furiously forward, his momentum was growing He's not aware of the rules he's broken Cause he's never chose to know them Overflowing with passion, having to have action Battling to the end of the line to turn the battle back again Ask a friend, cause everybody knows one One part who won't stop, who won't stop <laughs> I have friends from Hugo Boss all the way to Ikea. You smell like Count Dookie there, Darth Diarrhea. If you call a guy with a big dick well hung, do you call a lesbian with a big tongue well tongue? Yeah, you heard it first.